Hey guys. Well, a couple of new updates for the van. I just put this light in today. Um, it's a bit tricky. I uh, didn't have the right bulb, but um, it had the um, double contact point. It needs to be a single contact point. So, um, a very nice gentleman on uh, Cheap RV Living, goes by the name of uh, Jim in Denver, sent me a um, uh, 48 LED uh, light, just kind of like one of those flat ones, and uh, he gave that to me for free. That was very, very nice of him. So I put that in there, and... Um, uh, I had to kind of jimmy the switch because uh, I thought I could just connect it to the switch and it would work, but it doesn't make sense why it wasn't working. But after about a half an hour fiddling with it and trying various different ways of uh, connecting it, I just had some um, lamp wire. If you could see this little, uh, this little switch right here, I just cannot use that. And wired it directly to this so I can just switch it off switch it on and uh, nice and bright uses hardly any energy I looked it up it's like um, 200 lumens let's see if I can take this thing off here so it's one of these deals um, 200 lumens is Let's see, it ends up being, um, I think it was like 1.9 watts, which is equal to roughly calculated something like um, 160 milliamps, which is very low. So I had no problem leaving that on. You can see my battery's at 12.7. Still not sure what some of these readings are. This, Some of these haven't changed. Like that's panel voltage I know what that means that means there's no panel voltage I think that means amps it's dark out so obviously there's no amps but I, I don't really see that change much and this one's I know what that means that's just means the way it reads and this one it always says low L O dot zero whatever that means if anybody knows let me know um, this one is steadily going up 7.8 kilowatt hours. I'm assuming that's how much has been used altogether because the number keeps going up. Anyway, so yeah, I'm not worried about the draw on the, on the light. It's very, and it's nice, it has lots of light in here. I don't have to worry about rely on these solar lights anymore, which work pretty good, but you know. This particular one, this is the uh, Lucy light. I'm not that thrilled with it. Lasts for about three or four hours, and then it shuts off. Even though it seems to have a full day of sun. Um, the other one I have is this one, and uh, Waka Waka. This is a more reliable. I mean, it lasts for hours. It lasts for eighty hours on low, and low is not very much light, but it. Uh, Let's see if I can show you here. Three, four. The fourth one is low. And we'll shut this off. Uh, I got the fla flash from the camera lights on, so obviously you're not going to be able to tell. And I don't think I can shut the camera light off. So, I, sorry, I can't really give you a good demonstration on that. So, that one's more reliable. The Waka Waka is more reliable than the Lucy light. Although it is also like 70 bucks and the Lucy Light's like 20 bucks, so I guess it gets you what you pay for. So yeah, that's that. And then another thing I got is these speakers, which I'm really happy with. These are Logitech. They're dirty because I bought them used. I need to wash them up. Logitech, um, what the heck's the number? Z200. Let me see if the other speaker has it. But I looked them up online. Actually, I was going to get these Amazon speakers, Amazon Basic 100s or whatever. And then I was looking at a review online. And the guy did an audio test. Let's see if I can see what that says under there. 
Yep. Speakers Z120. Yeah, Z120. That's what it says. I know you probably can't see that. You have to trust me. Sorry, it's not focusing. Anyway, I was going to buy these um, these Amazon Basic 100s because they're only 13 bucks. But then um, the guy on YouTube did a demo of them. And they sounded okay. And then he did a demo of these ones. And he says, look at the sound difference. And then sound is quite important to me. Being a musician, I, I like good sound. So um, there's a noticeably... They're noticeably better. So uh, on Amazon, they're 28 bucks US. And I looked them up on Craigslist and they had them for 20, well, they're $30, but I talked the guy down at $20 Canadian. So no shipping, no baloney. Works for me. I'll turn them on just so you can hear it for a sec. <laughs> There's some uh, bad reception going there. Let's try a different Two and four pe Yeah, it's still got that little skipping business. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with that, but um, they sound great for 20 bucks. Um, can't beat it. And what I like about them is I just got them plugged into my, uh, where is it? Buried under here, under the blanket. This isn't all wired up yet. I'm not gonna keep them up there like that. I'm probably gonna stick them below under here. I think that's what I'm gonna do or something, but I just put them up there temporarily. And uh, the great thing about both them is they use very little power. They are powered via USB. So um, it's easier easier for me you know, to deal with a wall ward or inverter or anything like that. So yeah, I'm happy with that purchase. And on uh, basically what I, I ordered a new longer USB cable because this is the one I really use for my cell phone which I use as my main source of entertainment with the uh, uh, internet and stuff so I ordered a bunch of stuff um, from Amazon and I ordered a couple of these longer extension USB cables I also ordered um, a Goal Zero 10 watt LED light no not 10 watt 1 watt LED light, 10 LED light, and it's just like a little stick, and it's got 10 LEDs, and I'm going to stick it under here, and then that way I can leave it on, and it'll draw zero, well not zero, but close to zero amount of uh, power off my battery, so that way I don't have to fr freak out about draining my battery, I know we're talking about very low draw, but see for me I live in, uh, Vancouver and the vast majority of the time it's rainy and um, cloudy for like five to six months of the year so I'm not sure how that's going to translate into how that affects my power which means whatever I want to use especially in the beginning right now I want to make sure that it's low wattage low power draw low amp draw hence the 10 LED light um, and I also bought another LED light, which is gonna, I'm gonna have another one of these white plastic, um, RV, uh, light things, and I'm gonna stick it over here somewhere so I can light up this area. I think I'm gonna stick it right on this, uh, piece up here somewhere. So I bought another bulb since the bulbs that I have are dual contact point and I need single. I'm gonna put it up there. What else did I buy? Oh, I bought a, um, uh, what's it called? It's kind of like a hot water heater. It's like one of those 12 volt 
coil things. I'll put a picture in it here. And uh, that's going to be used to um, heat my water for uh, if I want a cup of tea or um, even just to wash up with instead of having to boil water somewhere and put it in the thermos. I mean, that's doable. What I'm trying to do is make things more convenient for those days when I'm not going to have access to a shower. I can just wash up in here quickly with actual hot water. So I bought that, the two LED lights, and... Well, the other thing I bought is, speaking of the radio, I bought a Sangian, S-A-N-G-E-A-N, -E digital radio. I'll put a picture of it right here. And uh, that radio, this radio is um, supposed to be supposed to be the best, or well, one of the best, considering the price for um, being able to tune in stations. So its sensitivity is very good. And uh, of course it's digital, which is nice. And it has bass boost, which I like lots of bass. So those are the things on Amazon I'm buying. They're on their way. Should be here in a week or so. And uh, yeah. Anyway, just an update on that stuff. Everything else is going okay. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's going to be it for today. Take care and have yourself a good night.